Hello, hello, hello. It's Tom here from TechBait.net, crypto blogger, Mr. Excitement. I'm doing this video from my phone at home because I don't really take, feel like taking my laptop out right now. And I do have to get moving uh, for the morning uh, commute. So um, hopefully this will go well and my voice won't fluctuate like my phone stutter while I'm doing this. Um, I'm on Wi-Fi, so it shouldn't. I, mean, I don't know. Anyway, um, I was looking at my tech bait site, which I recommend that you do daily, several times daily, actually, because it's constantly updated tech and crypto news, right? Um, and a lot of these stories I would miss if I didn't have my tech bait at my disposal. Uh, which is the main reason I set it up to begin with. Um, this is an interesting story here. The U.S., the United States, launches a criminal probe into Bitcoin price manipulation. So this is where the government can do some good, okay? The uh, Justice Department is working with the CFTC, the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. I think that's what that stands for, the CFTC. And they're probing into how traders, big traders, can manipulate the price of Bitcoin and other digital currencies by uh, um, doing things like uh, spoofing, flooding the market with fake orders to trick other traders into buying or selling, that sort of thing. So it's, it's about time someone looks at this sort of manipulation. Um, it's illegal in most other markets. It's been you know, people get away with it in the in the crypto market, and uh, it causes a lot of these crashes, these sell-offs, um, because you got a lot of people. I mean, look, unfortunately, not everybody understands this stuff. Prices go down, and they panic sell. Like we keep trying to educate these weak hands that that this is not the way to invest, but they they're gonna do it anyway. But there's no reason that uh, these big players ought to be allowed to set this stuff up and go unchallenged. It's criminal, okay? So, um, collusion, things like that. So, they're on notice. The U.S. government is looking into it. This is one area where I'm okay with the U.S. government looking into stuff and uh, maybe going after some people. Make an example of them, put them in jail, find them a lot of money, and maybe some of this stuff will stop, okay? Uh, another interesting story I saw was Coinbase. I clicked on the tab. I'm waiting for it to switch. Coinbase acquires decentralized trading platform Paradex. What this is going to do is it's going to allow Coinbase customers are going to be able to now, um, I guess, through some Coinbase interface, right? They'll be able to trade... ERC-20 tokens, that's basically Ethereum blockchain tokens um, directly from their wallets using the platform. Um, why you need Coinbase to do this, I don't know. I mean, anybody could sign up to power, to like a, a decentralized trading platform, but I guess if you could do that directly from a Coinbase account, there's some value in that. People, I guess there's a lot of people who aren't savvy enough to go do this on their own. Um, that's why I, I recommend you get <clears throat> something like Metamax, Chrome plugin, and a My Ether wallet set up. Learn how all that works. Learn how to safeguard your private keys. And you can you can use any decentralized trading platform to trade ERC tokens once you know how to do that. Um, but th this is a step for um, Coinbase users. I'm going to kill that tab. I'm going to kill that tab. You can, I don't know if these news articles will still be on TechBait if you go to it and watch this video because it constantly recycles stories. Um, I mean, you know, pulls new ones in, but I found that. So anyway, uh, going down, there were some other interesting things. Uh, again, uh, Vitalik Buterin, the one of the co-founders of Ethereum, He's the one that gets the most press. He's been offered to join Google's mysterious blockchain project. Uh, 
I'm sure you could find that article out there. Uh, Ethereum's cheap right now. These coins are cheap. They're on sale. Uh, again, we have a market downturn. I wouldn't worry about that long term. Um, who knows what the heck is causing it? We can speculate all we want. We can speculate that it's that it's manipulation, that it's Mount Gox, that it's you know who knows what. I honestly think that at some point it's going to skyrocket and most of us don't know when that's going to happen. So now is the time, you know, when you get these dips in price, that's the time to move your fiat, if you have it, into the market and buy cheap Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc. while it's on sale. Because later on, you are going to regret not getting in when it was cheap, Okay. Don't sit there and listen to these idiots who don't understand blockchain, don't understand coins, think that, you know, they like to tell themselves this is all a fad and it's going to go away because they never got in or they're conspiracy minded or they think it's the Illuminati or they think it's the mark of the beast, the one world currency garbage, all that biblical nonsense, uh, which is complete nonsense. Um, they want to believe that, let them. They're the ones who are going to suffer in the long run when they're broke. Um, this is technology. This is the future. Um, an Italian court rules that uh, the bankrupt crypto exchange BitGrail must stay closed. Um, here's more Federal Reserve FUD. Bitcoin price has hypothetical value of $1,800. Yeah, okay. If it was $1,800, a lot of people would be buying in cheap, and it would shoot right back up. Um, this one's interesting. I don't know. I'm probably going to follow the article. Argentinian bank drops out of SWIFT, favors Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Right there. Right there. When you see banks start dropping out of the SWIFT network and using Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies for, for payments, this is the road towards mass adoption. Okay. That's good news. Here we have no blockchain network is remotely close to Ethereum, says Gollum CEO. So Gollum is a is a is a is a coin, a token, whatever. They're obviously on the Ethereum network. They love Ethereum. That's bullish for Ethereum. Bullish long term. Um Again, another article on the U.S. launches criminal probe into Bitcoin price manipulation. Um, a lot of these same, same headlines get pulled in from the different news services that I syndicate, um, <clears throat> which is fine. Tom Lee is holding to his $25,000 price, Bitcoin price prediction. Um, he's the guy who's always on CNBC. Um, happen to like him. It's obviously not right all the time, but uh, he's a pretty savvy guy. Uh, da, 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 da. One of the world's largest stock exchanges is deep at work with Bitcoin. I'm telling you, it's it's headed that way. We're, this is the calm before the storm, okay? I don't know when it's going to take off. I really don't. And I know we've had bull traps where it looks like it's starting and then it comes down again. But honestly, this is the best time to buy in if you can, okay? Um, John McAfee invited to support Bitcoin Private. Yeah, Bitcoin Private's great. Um, McAfee, I don't know. <laughs> and uh, India might impose a goods and services tax on crypto trading. I heard it's 18%. Um Another Bitcoin kidnapping ransom. Don't advertise how much you own, that's for sure. Uh, project targets fraud and advertising with performance-driven smart contracts for campaigns. That's interesting. So <clears throat> this is um, oh, American Express integrates blockchain to its membership rewards program. That's pretty interesting, right? 
Um, so anyway, these are the type of articles you see on, on TechBait, my, uh, my site. Um, oops, what is that? Um, I clicked on something by mistake, and I think it's launching something. Can we go back? It's either that or my screen blacked out, which happens. And of course, it's going to happen now while I'm recording something. I have a problem with my phone. Maybe you'll see this, the black screen or not. Um, I don't know if my voice is going to pause or not. Let's see. I'm trying to get my visuals back here. Um, I just pulled my laptop out, right? So, okay. Okay, so oh, I love it. Not okay, so anyway, uh, my phone, as usual, I really need to replace this soon. I just don't like having to replace it before. You know, before I have to, that time is coming pretty quickly. So, uh, these phones, it's unbelievable. You, you pay a certain amount for these things, and they never last the way they're supposed to. Um, and, the, and they get away with it, because the terms, just to get the darn thing repaired, isn't even worth it, you know? So... I'm looking forward to when I replace it. So anyway, uh, tech bait, all I wanted to do, I was just going to the main site here. Use this. It's a great resource. I, I actually pass business cards out with this URL here on uh, to people locally, <clears throat> friends, colleagues, etc., to say, hey, you need your news. You need your, your crypto and your technology news. Here you go. It's, it's a great resource. Um, who needs to troll a million news websites, a whole bunch of news websites, when I've got the most popular ones right here? You know, including Google syndication, which pulls news in from everywhere, um, as well as key sources. It, it's all here. It's all here. Just one URL, and you can access it via mobile or desktop. So anyway, listen, the market will be back. Now is the best time to get in. If you have regular fiat money, which means dollars, pounds, euros, um, now is the time. Look, I, I don't know when the best time to get in is because I don't know how low it's going to go or when how low the lowest crash or pullback will be. That's for, you know, you just have to take your chances there. But. These pullbacks that we've seen lately, they're not going to last forever. And at some point in time, I wish you got in when prices were low because you can get a lot more now than you will be able to get later, right? I mean, if Ethereum is below $600, for example, and even if you put $100 in, right, you're getting a lot more Ethereum for that $100 than you will when Ethereum is over $1,000, that's simple math. Same thing goes for any other coin, Bitcoin or anything else. Um, so, you know, unless you're one of those clueless people who think that crypto is going to go away or that, you know, whatever, then it's worth it to get in when the prices are low. And then you hold it, whatever, you trade it for other, other, other coins you can move it around between exchanges. It's not hard. Okay. Um, I'd love to do a tutorial on that. I just don't want to give away my information. And that's the problem. You know, when you start logging in with your own account and showing your numbers and things, you, you, you reach a danger zone there for being hacked and stuff. So I'm not sure. I'm, I, maybe what I'll try to do is find an online tutorial and, and, and go through it. Um, in a video. I mean, I don't know why people can't just Google that themselves. It's out there. It's all out there. You know, 
I'd love to provide that myself. I had a friend who suggested it, but like I said, it's kind of hard when you know you're logging into your own financial accounts and putting all that out there. It's not the smartest thing to do. So I'm not sure how to do that without divulging information I don't want divulged. Okay, whether it be you know key login data information or whatever, or parts of account numbers or, or things like that. You got to be careful. Something flashes on the screen and someone's got it, you know. So anyway, uh, this stuff is not rocket science, okay? It's not the hardest thing in the world to grasp. You just have to put some time in. So if you're the type that's afraid to go in because you don't understand it, just go in with a little bit of money. Go in with $20, $40, $50. Money that you're not afraid to lose, and play around. And once you understand the whole key system, private keys, public keys, centralized exchange, decentralized exchange, private wallet, <clears throat> things like that, then you're in a good position to move around, you know, to move from, say, a centralized place like Coinbase or Gemini or someplace like that onto other, um, maybe other exchanges that have more coins and tokens you know something like Binance or Bitrix or something you should be getting accounts on all of these things get your accounts set up and get verified get your bank accounts well okay bank accounts hook up to things like Coinbase and Gemini that's where you would onload your your money into the digital realm okay you would buy Ethereum or Bitcoin or Litecoin or something like that with your fiat money. And then you would take that and send that over to an account on, say, an exchange like Binance or something where they support more coins. You, you would basically transfer the same kind of coin you have on the one exchange, like, say, Coinbase. Say you join Coinbase, you buy Ethereum or Bitcoin. Then you take that and you wire that over to your account, your wallet. Uh, your Bitcoin or Ethereum wallet <clears throat> on another exchange like, say, Binance that carries a lot of coins. Then, once it's there, you can trade that for other altcoins that are not carried in a place like, say, Coinbase or Gemini. That, that's how it's done. And then, you know, eventually when you have a certain amount, you may want to get them off the exchanges. So then you get certain kinds of private wallets <clears throat> where you can wire your coins to and keep them safe offline. Maybe you get a, a Ledger Nano or a Trezor. Again, I have all these things on my site, which is basically uh, a hardware device that's, that uh, saves your, uh, protects your private keys. Um, anyway, I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to scroll my phone here, and it's not scrolling. I don't know what happened. Hit refresh. So anyway, on TechBait, I have um, all those links, okay? When you see a Coinbase link or you see a Binance link or a Trezor or a Ledger Nano, they will take you to that whatever site and you can sign up or you can get the product, all right? All the most important ones, useful ones, are there on TechBait. So TechBait's also a source for that. Those are affiliate links, which means I'll get a little something if you sign up through my It won't cost you anything extra than if you went there directly yourself, so it doesn't cost you anything extra. But it would provide me a little bit towards, say, hosting my site. You know, I pay web hosting every month to host my site. I have bills and expenses. You know, I put the time in to create a site like this. So it'd be nice if people would... You know, if they need something like that, they would go through my site to get there. And let's face it, it's easier for you as well. You just go to TechBait and there, everything is that you can possibly need is linked on my site. So uh, I'd appreciate that. So anyway, I need to get going. I hope that my video overall uh, recorded okay and that my voice didn't break up too much. If it did, I apologize. Um, next time I'll take my laptop out, but... Um, I don't know. I just felt like doing it from the phone this morning. So uh, don't worry about these market downturns. If you're a long-term hold, 
you will be fine. As a matter of fact, well, as a matter of fact, I may be sending a little fiat in. And remember, a week for your fiat to be fully digitized, so to speak. So, you know, it's better to have it up there. And then, you know, it's up there when these crashes or these pullbacks happen because, um, you know, you could you could put fiat into something like Coinbase or Gemini or whatever, and you can say buy Ethereum. You can place your order for Ethereum or Bitcoin right away, and you'll get that current price if it's low. But if you then want to transfer that to another exchange to buy some other alternative chain, you need it's going to take about a week for that to clear completely, so that then you can wire your your assets to another place. So just keep that in mind. That's just the way the system works right now. So anyway, uh, please like, subscribe, and uh, and um, see you next time. Thanks for watching.